Thank you Emotion for sponsoring this video. Top of the day to you all. I had such great responses to my last video that I think I'll just keep making them. Today I'm riding around with the Inmotion V12 High Torque. To be honest, this wheel has taken me some time getting used to. But the more I ride it, the more comfortable I get. I love the fact that it has a lot of torque and it feels really stable at higher speeds. It is a cruiser slash mild off-road wheel. You may want to lower the tire pressure if you're taking the dirt trail, cause it can get bumpy. I keep mine around 25 to 30 PSI, but overall I love the design and reliability of this wheel, and the fact that I can jam to my favorite tunes while I'm riding. Get yours today at any InMotion dealer. At this time, let's get right into the top UC news for the week. Juicy UC drama comes from U-Strike. On one of his recent YouTube videos, U-Strike called out Yuko, a PEV distributor here in California. He was knocking Yuko's customer service and said things like, shame on you, you can do better. It was like a broken record. I've always had good interaction with Yuko, but my question for all of you is, is this the best way to deal with personal feelings about a company? Should we be using our social media platforms to try and expose what we think are bad business practices? I'm not so sure. And another controversial topic by Ustride was his use of the MSB in the Apple Valley race. Some of you saw the fall that took out Roger, one of the fastest riders out there. Ustride said he left Roger in the dust, but was he really way ahead of him is the question. He also said the cutoff was his ignorance about the new Litec batteries he had because it only had a 30 amp fuse. Leave a comment in the description box below if you agree or disagree. And now we move on to the accessory of the week. My new ghost panels are in production and we are taking orders now. Each one is handcrafted and looked at by myself before it's shipped out. Their purpose is to create more surface area for the side pads instead of buying a whole 3D printed system that costs an arm and a leg, you can use whatever pads you want. We make them for most wheels, old and new. You can purchase these by direct message on my Instagram at uc.girl. Okay, the wheel of the week is the Commander Pro. This wheel will be sold out before it hits the market. People are already canceling their Sherman S orders so they can get this beast of a wheel. I mean, it has 3,600 watt hours battery, C38, 3,500 watt motor, speaker suspension with central damping, 20 inch tire, and 134.4 volts, and it weighs under 100 pounds. I hope I can get one to test. This wheel might just be what a lot of EUC enthusiasts are looking for. And last of all, Burning Flux 2023 is already in the works. It might be a little wild for me, but it looks really cool and a great way to connect with so many awesome people in the PEV world. There will be races, group rides, food, camping, live DJs, and music. More details to come in the next few days. I hope you enjoyed this news report. Leave a like and subscribe. Also, let me hear some of your thoughts in the comments section below. Have a great day. See you on the next video.